Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I sell you stuff on eBay. We got two days worth of orders going out. A lot of clothing here today and a bunch of records. All bulk kind of craft records and a good deal of media. Actually listing a whole lot of media this week. I just picked up another trailer load of mostly books, but there was also a bunch of CDs and DVDs mixed in, but probably 80% books, 85% books, 10% CDs and 5% DVDs. And then just a little bit of miscellaneous too, of course, but that, that just kind of always happens these types of lots. But because I'm sorting through that, I'm going to go kind of quick today. We're going to tell you guys what sold, kind of what I paid for it a little bit and what kind of profit we made. So let's take a look. All right, so here's our last two days worth of solds. We got one DVD evolution of Tony Royster. So we got that going out today. This is like a drumming CD or DVD, excuse me. Um, this is part of consignment I do with my uncle. So I have no money into this and we just put all the profits. This is a Minecraft book set. I picked this up in the last bulk lot of books that I got. So really a dollar or less into that. These, I have no idea what I got into these. These have been listed years. This is TK and Mike. And these actually sell okay if you got much bigger lots, but just two of them. Not really enough to make any value there. I lowered and lowered the price and they finally sold. Very glad they are gone. One CD going out, Jan and Dean Collection. This one actually does have a barcode, which surprises me. Usually the ones with barcodes are not worth much, but this one I got a little bit of value. I think like $8 out of it. Very good looking CD. Very happy. This I listed just a couple hours ago. I picked up over 100 VHS tapes that are just kind of like this. Um, they would have been blank, but then they've already been recorded on them before just helping somebody clean out their space. It's a good friend of ours. So just honestly took them to help them out a little bit, but I'm actually gonna be selling these, making some good money. Got $10 here, I believe for this lot of 11. And then I listed several lots of 20 for $20 plus shipping each. And you can't ship these media mail because there's stuff recorded on them. If they're completely blank, you cannot ship, ship the media mail, but very happy with that, you know? Probably between the, all the VHS and the, also the containers they were in, probably around $150 in listings, so not too shabby, not too shabby. $10 there, no money into it. These are two Christie DVDs, A New Beginning and A Season of Change. And then this is a little lot of like, I believe it's all like cross, what is this? Crochet, crochet and knitting stuff. I just kind of bundled them together. These came in a book lot that I had bought one time, and instead of throwing them out or donating them, I decided, hey, let's sell them like that. These, I love selling these. I don't know why, but I think because the listing them is super easy. I have a multi-quantity listing for these records. The 45s, I sell them in lots of 50, and then the big 12 inches, I sell in lots of 25. I had one person buy four lots of 25 yesterday, or I think two days ago actually. And then yesterday somebody else came and bought a lot of these 50, 45. So very, very happy with there. Very easy. Count to 50, put some saran wrap on them, update the quantity by one and just go on it. I'm actually, I think I only got one lot of these left. So I need to go pick up some more 45s or probably better yet, sort through the 45s I have in the shed. So I got about 150 out there. Plants versus zombies. These are like graphic novels. Those are going out. And then we do have one Bible, New Schofield Reference Edition. So yeah, I think that's it for the media. So let's take a look at sewing machine parts. One bobbin winder going out and a little presser foot lever going out. Ford parts we got going out here are these two cams. These are from my uncle as well. Part of that consignment deal where no real money in the deal. This is a golf cub. My wife and I picked this up the other day at a thrift store, spent $3 on it. We're just kind of in line checking out and the Bennett Golf Clubs happen to be right next to where you check out, which is kind of weird. Usually that's not where it is, but paid $3, sold for 20, very happy. One original Xbox controller. There's no breakaway cable with this. There's like a little smaller cable, but unfortunately it's not there. And that really detracts from the value a good deal. Here we got Corporal Hicks and King Alien. This thing is in terrible shape. 
but it's still sold. The guy's very happy to do this. He actually, I offered him like $25 and then he countered offered at $29.35. I went ahead and accepted it. And he sent me a message saying, oops, I didn't mean to send that, but oh well, I'll still take it. So that was pretty funny. I'm glad he still honored that price. I was like, I can still cancel if you want me to. And he's like, no, no, no. So very glad. One pair of shoes. These are San Antonio Shoe Company. The value on this brand, I feel like, has really dropped the last couple of years. You usually don't want to pay more than a dollar for them anymore. It used to be worth a good deal more. One t-shirt going out. This is OU, like, 2009 football championship, I believe. A lot of these championship t-shirts can sell. They're very slow. There's not a lot of value, but they can sell. Don't pay more than a dollar for them. Here's a North Face hoodie. I took a lower offer on this because it's April and it's starting to warm up and hoodies are not selling right now. So I took an offer on that and get it sold. I don't want to hang on to it all summer. And we've got a lot of pants. We've got five pairs, one pair of shorts. These are just some basic J. Crew shorts. Those are going out. We got a pair of Levi 550 men's and then a pair of women's American Eagle. These are more like the flare style, which is kind of popular right now. One pair of kids green Levi's. This is from that vintage 80s mega haul. If you didn't see that video, maybe go look at it. And I think these are like Red Ape or something. I had never heard of the brand before, but no idea where these came from. Two hats, Lucas Racing. This hat has been listed almost a year. And it finally sold, very happy with this. And then this hat I listed last week and I told you guys in that hat video this would sell, and it definitely did. Kiss Livestock Auctions. Do very good with, like, livestock auction hats for some reason. But anyways, that is everything that sold. I'm going to ship this out, and then I'm going to start sorting more books from that big book haul we just had. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time. If you want to see maybe a video about me sorting all the books, put it down in the comments. See you guys next time. Goodbye.